sigo bailando y escribiendo mis letras. Sigo cantando con la gente. ¿Eh? ¿Estás sentido, Ya. Que viajas contra la respuesta. Hello, 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 hello. This is chapter 16 here at the Mon United TV, meaning the Mon United family. I'm your host, Darwin Salas, official water boy, janitor, uh, locker coordinator, uh, TV host, and everything. Sometimes they call me president. I don't really like that, but I'm here with you guys today. And I have the honor to present someone that I admire a lot, a good friend of mine, uh, already part of the family of La Cubuena and all the other stuff that we're doing here at the office. Uh, her name is Goisane Molin. Colombiana. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo estás, güey? Muy bien, Darwin. Gracias sí. por invitarme. Qué chido. Les comento, Goizani, eh, colombiana. Estás aquí desde el año 2000. You've been here since 2000, year 2000. Yes. Tell us a little bit, tell the audience a little bit about yourself, a little uh, background, how you got to the U.S., and and then we'll take it from there on, on what you're doing at this point. Yeah, like you like you mentioned, um, I arrived to the States in 2000. Uh, we moved to Denver with my mom. Um, the idea was uh, to come to the States only for a year and study English, but I ended up um, liking it and starting school. Um, about 12 years ago or so, I moved to Iowa because okay. I met my husband. He's from here. Ryan from Paranderos. That's Big shout out for Paranderos uh -huh. Latin Combo. Okay, so Best percussionist in best percussionist. I, I, I you know, in the, in the nation, I would think he's, at least in Iowa, he's the best. He's definitely the best All in right. the Midwest. I will put my hands on. Oh, definitely. <laughs> so you met you met Ryan. You met Ryan. Uh, what? How how long have you been married with Ryan? So we actually had our um, fourteen year anniversary last week. What? Congratulations! Uh, what was that like? Uh, it was good. We were definitely... We went to the recording studio and you were... We are actually getting a little bit older and comfortable, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, because uh, we just got a, a, a fridge that was like our wedding anniversary. Oh, so your wedding anniversary was a fridge. But that was what we did for the night. We're like, let's go have dinner and buy a new fridge. Oh, <laughs> so wow. We're really happy about it. See, <laughs> after 40 years of marriage, you get a lot more practical. Yeah, wow. it's like we have been running one. Se acaban mucho los chocolates. Bueno, todavía. Sí, los chocolatitos y todas las florecitas. Sí, florecitas, chocolates. But, you know, we're like, no, 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 let's go and buy the fridge we have been talking about. So, that wow. was our wedding anniversary. Nice. Well, I uh, would like to announce officially today that uh, Goisani is uh, one of our uh, sponsors and madrina. She's a godmother, as you know. Our sponsors are our godparents, our cousins are the soccer teams, and our uncles are the organizations. You can also be our aunt as well, because you're really involved in really important organizations, including the uh, Warren Morrow Latin Festival, the Latin Heritage Festival. Like, you're a community leader as well as, or you contribute a lot in, in, in all this stuff. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, I definitely, um, I'm very interested in, I guess one of my motives is to, you know, uh, leave places better than I found them. So I wow. like to always um, utilize my experience, tools, you know, mind or whatever to help when it, whatever I can. Um, so I have been involved, for example, with the, the Warren, uh, Warren Morrow Latin Music Festival for about four years or so. And then um, I'm helping uh, the Latino Heritage Latino Festival Heritage. with some entertainment. I'm in the entertainment committee, so helping with some of that this year as well. That's awesome. Um, and then I'm very, I'm an artist, and so I'm also pretty involved with the um, Iowa Department of Cultural Affairs and the um, Arts Council. So I, I mean, a couple of committees in wow. there. So, you know, it's a, I love giving. And that's so, awesome. <laughs> you know, I really like that phrase. I like leaving places better than I found them. Mm -hmm. You know, like right now, she's probably looking at our studio. She's like, mm, that, I would have never put them. <laughs> them tacks in there. Those shirts, definitely tacky. Put a little quadro with more professional. She's actually going to help us out uh, with the whole branding, which is what you do best. Yeah. The whole branding of all our companies here. Uh, we're a one-stop shop here at 500 East Court. You know, we got the Immobiliaria, the La Cubuena, Limon United, uh, SIG, a whole bunch of different companies that work together yeah. in this office. So uh, 
actually Goisani is going to be helping us rebrand the whole thing. Yes. Make sure the colors are right. Make sure that is not happening That's under right. your under your radar. That's right. That's right. And that we can, you know, um, have them all live here cohesively. Cohesively. That, Any changes for Any suggestions for Kuko? What would you do different on Kuko? I don't know if I would do much. He's got like a cantinflas uh, slash carrot slash hot. Look, no? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I would change much about it, to Ooh. be honest. And thank you very much, Aurelia. I told you, look, look it. He's doing the one and he's doing some white. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> it's not your interview, Goisani. <laughs> uh, Goisani, so, so uh, well, what a blessing to have you here. She's officially part of our family. Why don't we give her the official sticker? Uh, yeah. She's the official uh, yeah. madrina. Yeah. She's a madrina yeah. for the Demon United AC. Perfect. And, um... Proud. Today, today you're also very involved. Uh, well, Ryan, your husband, mm -hmm. is one of the owners for uh, the Mobber Gallery. Yes. And yes. Uh, if anybody wants to see uh, some of your art, the opportunity will be today. Yeah. Today at five at twenty four eleven Grand Avenue, two four one one Grand Avenue, from five to seven, you're gonna be sharing the floor with a very talented worldwide artist. Yes. Yes. You're one of them. I am one of them. So they, yeah, Mover Gallery is having like the contemporary um, women artists show, form and figure. And so I will be, um, I'm very proud and, you know, feel very special to be part of the group. Um, it's four, four of us. Uh -huh. um, a few of the artists are pretty well known and have done, you know, murals and art all over kind uh -huh. of the world. And I'll be having one of my installations there tonight. Um, it'll be a, well if you're if you're there, that means you're at that level. I mean, sometimes sometimes uh, that happens also with our soccer players. You know, they're like, hey, you know, I don't think I'm that good. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the main team. I don't think I'm good enough to be in this team. And I tell them, hey, if we called you in, if we tried, uh, you went to a tryout with over three, four hundred guys, and you made it to the top fifty. You're at least that good. Yes. I mean, you gotta have that confidence. For sure. It's definitely something that I have been working on. I think a lot of it is that I grew up around art. My mom was an art dealer when I was little. Oh, she was in Colombia. Yeah. And nice. so I grew up going to artist studios and in galleries and stuff like that. So I saw really good art growing up. And so it was very easy for me to always kind of put myself like, I'm not there, right? So you were not in any way forced to get into this career? No. You no, know, because no, for no. example, in my case, I, I've been a musician and, um, and I, you know, I love music and now I'm into sports, but none of my kids, not even, don't even touch, yeah. uh, uh, you know, a tambor, yeah. you know? My mom actually discouraged me a little bit in the sense of, you know, she knew it was hard. She, uh -huh, she was uh -huh. representing some artists, so she was kind of, you know, she made me think about it. When I decided to go to school and take some classes, she really was like, can you like pick a major that maybe gives you a little more money? To pay the bills? Yeah. And um, but so yeah, I definitely was not pressure into it, but uh -huh. it's just something that I kept falling back into it that I really enjoyed yeah. doing. Th that definitely art, you know, just like just like musicians or even sports people, you know, mm -hmm. it's those are very high risk careers. Yeah. Because you are there's only so many artists, and then you need you go into the how do I promote it? I yeah. mean, there, there might be brilliant soccer players or brilliant artists mm -hmm. or brilliant singers, but if they're not given the opportunity, mm -hmm. it's so hard. Yeah. So it's a high risk. I mean, you can literally go broke yeah. doing that. Yeah. So in your case, um, you were able to apply the art and make it into, an, uh, into a company, into yes. a business. Yes. Just so you guys know, if you have a company, if you had a restaurant, I see a lot of Mexican restaurants, a lot of uh, restaurants Mexicanos que I, I talk about Mexican restaurants because those are my clients. Mm -hmm. And and you walk into a restaurant and and then w they might have ten locations, but they all look different. Mm -hmm. Their menus look different. Some mm -hmm. some menus have three pages, other have ten pages, because they got different partnerships and whatnot. You know, mm -hmm. they don't really have yet that uh, people like you, mm -hmm. a person like you, goes into the restaurant. What would be the process? Uh, when you go to a new client uh -huh. and and you want to make sure you leave there in a better way. Yeah. 
Um, you know, I would say for me, the biggest thing is to really understand the client, okay. to really understand what their goals are, what they want to get out of me helping them or out of the situation, or if they have a business plan, like what is the, what is their market? Plan? Yes. Yeah. Um, and then after that, then I can utilize, you know, my experience and knowledge on being like, okay, what is the best way to visually, because right, I, I kind of hang out in yeah, the creative yeah. visual yeah. area to portray or help this goal path, right? So, okay. you know, the goal could be sales, the goal could be a feeling, the goal could be um, that everybody knows you, the goal, you know, there is so many different yeah. things. Um, and there is different approaches, so I would just kind of adjust. And of course, budgets are very important. Yeah. Right. Like, we, you know, we can. How much money you have to spend? But know? then, based on you know the budget that you have, how can we best utilize that budget yeah. in something that lasts, you know, longer, longer. and that you can see the benefits? Exactly. Of yeah. We were talking a little while ago here with uh with Sebastian, our midfielder for the Moon United, and he was telling us, well, you know, I've seen some people that that just makes something and and like it's so ridiculous because it's only a banana <laughs> or it's only a picture of a banana or a picture of a banana he said banana like three times for some reason <laughs> from less potassium but um uh, and then i replied to that i said like look at apple uh -huh. apple is an apple with a with a beat on the side mm -hmm. it is white mm -hmm. And it's so simple, but it's known worldwide, Nike. Absolutely. So there, there's a thought process there. I mean, I assume if, if you're given, let's say you're, you're called by by Google or by Apple, you're called by Apple and say, you know what, Gwisani? We're sick and tired of this white Apple. You know, we want to be more uh, inclusive. Mm -hmm. We want to go from white to like hit the brown market, the Mexican market with Apple or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So that's a full thought process. You have to figure out what you need to do to that, to beat that. Yes. And for example, one of the things that I really, really keep in mind also, besides then your goals and your budget, then really you're targeting to your audience, right? And so we really need to know who they are and understand mm -hmm. where they live, how they think, what will motivate them to do something. Would they care about that brand or that color or, you know? Exactly. So a lot of the times I like to spend a lot of time on understanding the clients or the customers or the target audience mm -hmm. just so we better can hit what these, people, hit what these people would be attracted to yeah. or will look at something or read something. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Just so you know, Goisani, uh, three years ago, four years ago, uh, when we started this dream called La Cubuena, 106.9 now LaCubuena.com, she actually did the logo for us. Yeah. You worked on the logo, like all those little colors, yellow, blue. Uh -huh, it, it comes from picking the right colors, you know? Yeah. We, we told her we our company was named Pan American Broadcasting, so I assume you thought about Pan American, you thought about Latino mm -hmm. and, and, and making it, but at the same time, make it look corporate. Yes. You know, those, those are the things that Goisan is the best at. To me, just like I consider Ryan the best Midwest conga player, mm -hmm. Uh, I think I consider Goizani one of the best uh, uh, graphic designers. Now, aside from doing branding for companies, you also you're also an artist. Well, you're an artist, number yeah. one. And today at uh, Morberg Gallery on 2411 Grant Avenue from five to seven, you cannot miss uh, this art. Uh, what is it called? Exhibit. It's an exhibit. Oh, it's called Exhibit of Women Artists, Figure and Form. So we're gonna show you a really short video. Can we move to the camera, producer? Tell me when you're ready. Are we there? Okay, so we're gonna put this little video more where you can see today. Wow. So, 
Sain is your uh, your birth last name. Yes, it is. And it's actually and pretty cool. It's my middle Esani name. Esani Esain. Esain. Well, that's your middle name, Esain. Now it's my middle name because it's it's so I was born in. Estamos Spain. felices porque por okay. fin. Sorry. Um, I was born in Spain, and, uh -huh. but I was born in the Basque country, and so oh. they have their own language. It's supposed to be one of the oldest languages in the world. It's not related to Spanish. Okay. So that's why my name is so different. Say, do you speak a little bit of that? No. No. I know a few words, but I no. I I did a teeny bit when I was younger because my dad, you know, was with my dad spent more time with my dad, but uh -huh. you know, he passed, and so I'm like, I don't okay. have anyone that like you know that I could practice me. It with. Yeah, he would always like force me. So you were actually born in Spain. I was born in Spain. You were born in Spain and then migrated to Colombia, mm -hmm. or your dad met your Colombian mom. So he actually lived in Venezuela too. Oh, so my man. parents, my mom was from Colombia, my dad was from Spain. He flee Spain during Franco oh. and landed in South America. And my mom graduated from school and when uh, around that time, Venezuela was doing great. Uh -huh. And so she went to look for a job in Venezuela. In Venezuela. And they met in Venezuela. They met in Venezuela. Wow, what a story. Yeah, yeah. So I lived in Venezuela. We, I, they went to Spain and they had me and I lived there for, uh -huh. I don't know, three, four years or something. But then we went to Venezuela and I lived there in Caracas for a little bit and in Barquisimeto. And uh -huh. then I moved to Colombia, Colombia. and lived in and then the U.S. So and you got like three citizenships. You're a Spain citizen, oh, yeah. U.S. Yeah. citizen, Colombia citizen. Yeah, I have Any other four one? passports. I have, I have four? Yeah, I mean, they're not all valid anymore, but I have I have them. They're saved. In my wow, account. that is from, so cool. From Spain, Venezuela, Colombia, and here. Yeah, and but, here. but valid right now. I only have this, you know, states and Spain. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's talk about uh, tonight's tonight's event at the gallery. How, how did that? Uh, obviously, Ryan, uh, your husband, Ryan, yeah. he's part owner of the Marlboro Gallery. Yes. Uh, but I don't think it, it doesn't affect in any way that you're there. Like, oh, she's my wife. No, actually, put her in. No, I think he's. Uh, he definitely makes sure that that was not. The, I mean, we both make sure that that was not the case. Just because I didn't wanna. Uh, that's not a. A That's very not, no. exciting. Like you, you can see uh, what exactly what we saw there. Like it's the same level of art artistry. It was actually more. I this kind of started because I donated a piece for Mercy Hospice. They were doing some sort of fundraising, mm -hmm. and this piece came out of kind of being inspired for that show, that uh -huh. style, um, because I was thinking, okay. What is a way to represent something being kind of alive? Uh -huh. And I thought right away about the heartbeat. Oh, so the lines yeah. really come. But then they wanted something that was Des Moines because it was a fundraiser and they uh -huh. sell those things more. Okay. So I was like, okay, how can I combine kind of the meaning of life in a way and then, you know, Des Moines? And so that's kind of how it all started. And that piece uh, uh -huh. kept getting bits. And it went well, and then somebody else asked about it, and then the gallery was kind of like, wait, mm, 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 this seems right. to be like something people like. And so it really, nice. it was because of the work. So, so also, like, uh, <laughs> out of the, uh, we saw a few pictures of, of what's going to be shown at the at the art at the uh, art event today mm -hmm. on 2411 Grand Avenue at Morva Gallery. Mm -hmm. uh, how many, how many uh, pieces of art? From you, do you are you gonna have there tonight? I'm only gonna have one. Oh, I have just a, one. One big is installation. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, usually mine are um, usually when I do the gallery, they I do the installation, so they do take quite a bit of space. Okay. And these are artists that are you know pretty renowned um, artists, so um, I'm happy to get a wall. You know. All right. So, yeah, I, I'm excited to show the new. Yeah, it's so exciting to have you here, uh, Guisani. Like I said, uh, si eres dueño de negocio. Si, if you got, a, if you have a business, and uh, you're trying to figure out what logo am I gonna put in my business, uh, what how am I gonna do it, um, how do I, what color do I paint the office, what kind of art do you put in the office, how, how should my uh, uh, my menus look like, you know, what, how, how should my posters look like? Goisani is the right person to co-work and they contact you, Goisani. 
Yes, um, they can find me on Facebook, Facebook? Um, Boisani Design, or Instagram as well. Um, I do have a website right now. It's under under construction. Under construction, but it is boisani.com. It should be. I assume like, that website is gonna blow everybody's minds. Yeah, I'm like it's gonna have like you know that's the reason it's taking a long time. Yeah, it's taking. Well, actually, I just because I had it, but yeah, I'm revamping, okay, I'm rebranding okay. a little it? bit and okay. adding more things to it, and cool, so cool. yeah, so. Uh, that's amazing. Also, Goizani, it's uh, very active with the World War Festival. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're also helping the Latino Heritage Festival, yes. which is going to happen in September this year. September, yes. You know, all these festivals, yesterday we had Manny from uh, mm -hmm. from the, I mean, it, which shows how, how this city is growing. Yes. Now we have a Des Moines Latino Film Festival. Festival. Yes. And we had money here uh, yesterday, and, and he was like, yeah, we expect about 500 people. It's going to have music, food, and, and showcasing movies. I'm like, you're being completely uh, uh, conservative. I think it's going to be a lot more than 500 people, considering the fact that that uh, we're post-pandemic. I mean, mm -hmm. we're still kind of in, but... People want to get out. People want to do things, and absolutely, uh, I think that I think that film festival is gonna be a blast. I think your the the world more this year is gonna be a blast. No, this year, but next year it will be. Uh, next year, oh, you're not gonna do it this year. It's yeah, be next year. Yeah, we will. But the Latino Heritage is gonna happen this year. Yes, in September, I believe it's the twenty fifth. Okay, so. two days, Saturday, Sunday. Just so you know, if you're a sponsor, you're a company out there, and also want to be part of these Latino festivals. Uh, Goisani here, we're going to be working with her because she's, she's now our madrina and uh, our aunt uh, under the organization of the Latino festivals. La Cubuena and Des Moines United, we're going to work together to to make sure that, that the sponsors are there and, and things can happen. Now, oh, come here, Monica. Come here. You got time? All right. And you sit over here. We got Monica Reyes. And uh, another thing that we do here at our show. No, sit on this side. Uh, why not? Like on here? Cameras. How's she gonna play soccer? Oh, yeah. What can we do that? Okay, that's part of the show. It has to okay, happen. Like okay. it's a, there's no way around it. Oh, so my goodness. we got Monica Reyes. You guys are buddies from a yes. long time. Yes. Parranderas. Total. Eh, Parranderas. Parranderas.com. Síganos en Parranderos.com. A uh, big shout out to to Parranderos Latin Combo. Both are our uh, wives. For two members of Paranderos Latin Combo, one is Fernando Vega. <laughs> both guys extremely blessed to have you both. I would say uh, so. mujeres <laughs> And uh, and um, Goisani, you know from Ryan, right? El Conguero. El Conguero. Uh, so so this is what we do. This is these are the rules. Okay. We're all fighting for La Copa. Okay, the Copa is the one in the middle. You play with one ball. So let's take all the balls out. You know, this time around, we're gonna leave the defense in there. Right? Just so that you need just to put the other defense out. What about side. do they need the No, the, the goalie the goalies take care of the goalies. Okay, no goalies. The, no goalies. So put your defense where you think uh -huh. it will benefit you the most, right? Right in front of the goal. Not except in front of the goal. Like uh -huh. you can put it like, <laughs> you can put it like right there in that corner. Oh well, you know? I mean but okay. you know, you gotta put it in front of the goal. Like, you can put them like right here. Does it have to be outside of the box? Yeah, uh, no, it could be inside the box, but just, okay. but not, not, okay. not, we'll not covering the entire goal, okay? One closer, one farther. I like it. So the second rule, we're actually going to have suits, which you could probably design for us. Uh, you can only use two fingers on each oh. hand. So it's like this, these are your legs, all right? Oh the, other, so the other day, he was playing with one finger, I'm like, when have you ever seen a sucker playing with one finger? Like with one foot. Oh God. So it's two feet, okay? Okay. okay. Third rule. Let's take out the chips out of the out of the field too, because then okay. I can see you. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the third rule is, you gotta pass the ball at least three times. So one, two, three, and then you can shoot. Okay. When she shoots, you cannot cover the the goalie. Just you uh, have to be. Oh, so, I, so it's better to kind of leave them set up. Yeah, set up. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot cover. <laughs> And then when you recoup the ball, you gotta pass the ball three times, one, two, three, and then shoot to the goal, okay? Okay. So the way she's positioning her players is tough because you need to shoot most of them from this side or the other side, or in between the two players. Or just knock them down. Or just knock them down. Do it real hard and knock them down. Which, by the way, will be a foul 
and then she would have to keep from here, okay? Okay. You cannot put your hands above the half line because it will be an upside. upside. Okay? So you can only play in your area, pass the ball three times, and you must use Ella trae, se parece que trae tacones, y yo así como... <risa> so, Goizani is playing with tacones, uh, which is cool. And so, we're going to get started. Are we ready? And you're going to do the one that you're going to be talking about the game. Okay? Pero, ¿y quién comienza? Who, who, who? Ah, uh, either or. Yes, start. Okay, okay start. So, okay. and then I have to... So, it's Goizani Designs versus... Simo, mira, ¿qué es lo que está pasando? No, no, no. 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 No, no
Somos todas familia, Son muy compadres. Solo compadres. Son las madrinas de los jugadores. Y yo soy como el rampa. Entonces es como la like, We're compadres. Right? El abuelo, papi chulo. Yeah. So with this, we finalized the interview. It was a pleasure having you here, Goisani. Thank you so Once much. Once again, if you need to reach out to Goisani, if you need to rebrand your company, if you need to make it look better than, than it is now, you can call Goisani at? Um, you, number? Yeah, you can um, do 720-422-5409. That is my cell. And you can, sell, you can follow her on her Facebook as Goisani Designs. Yes, Goisani Designs. And she will also have her page page will be Goisani Design as well. Goisani.com. Goisani.com. Oh, that's pretty cool. I know. And tonight, 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 women artists got a, a, a mobile gallery on 2411 Grand Avenue at uh, 5 p.m. from 5 to 7. Don't miss out. There's going to be drinks and... Yeah, there'll be some, some refreshments drinks and, and uh, music. I don't know if there'll be music. I mean, they'll be Probably. playing background they'll music. They'll be playing background but, music. Yeah. So don't miss out and and, and, and watch her art and uh, definitely hire her services. She does all this stuff stuff for us all the time for La Kiwana and the Moon United and she's her madrina now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I appreciate it. And we are...